Hello world, human sustainability here. Last day out here in the in the wilderness. I'm on vacation, so I gotta get back to civilization. My uh, current area that I'm living in is about four hours away from here, so I've been staying in a hotel that gets expensive. I'm planning on just getting myself a apartment closer. But I wanted to kind of show you how far I got. Um, actually kind of tired, so <laughs> I'm just taking some days off on my vacation. So yeah, I uh, my break over angle wasn't quite good enough right there. You see that bend. I did get the shovel out a couple of times and try to level out that road, but <clears throat> it's, um, it's kind of rough getting back in here. Got my power on, of course. It's all in the shade right now, but it's still pulling about 50 watts, so. Did get my replacement. There's the replacement, another four ton. There's a Harbor Freight nearby, so. I mean, I'm out in the rural America, so. There's always a tractor supply and a Harbor Freight around here. Go get pulleys and winch lines and so on. So it occurred to me that I didn't actually explain what I was doing. And I thought I'd tell you. <clears throat> the plan is to homestead out here. The plan is to go completely off grid and homestead out here. It means I'll be bringing in my own power. Like I said, I'm using an energy right now. I'm going to upgrade that to a Blue Eddy. That AC300 is uh, looking pretty good. When I bought that energy, it was the best thing you could get. But Blue Eddy, boy. That AC300. <clears throat> and check this guy out. <laughs> Big beautiful mushroom right in the middle of the road. I've decided to just leave these stumps here. I don't want to haul all that equipment back in here just to pull out a couple. Because, frankly... I'm tired, man. I haven't worked labor, physical labor like this in a long time. So, I'm an old guy. I gotta take my time. This is a marathon. It is not a sprint. But I kind of wanted to show you how far I was at and why I'm doing it. What the plans are for the future. Like I said, I'm gonna homestead. Source my own electricity using sun. Source my own water using rain. Source my own heat with the wood, right? All this wood to burn. This has opened up quite nicely. As soon as I get those stumps out, I'll be able to drive back to here. Gets me closer. So I can bring gear in. Now I wanted to kind of show you what the plan is here. So all these aspen right here are going to stay over to about that aspen right there. Going to take him out and everything behind him. So that'll be about the left hand side of the road in. But I decided I'm going to clean it out in, in deep where the parking lot is so that when I fall these guys, I can fall them out here this way. And then I'll have a place to bring them to because, I, you know, obviously I'll have to cut them into pieces and bring them in here. Need room to do that. That means cleaning out the brush pile that's back in here. There's a little crazy S. Crazy S pine. <laughs> so this should be pretty familiar to you. I haven't done much here yet. I did burn up some of that. I have to pull this, bring this carry back that. Yeah. Let me try that again. 
need to pick all this up and carry it back in so I can get back in here and get this stuff burned up, stacked up at least. <clears throat> Yeah. So already you can see there's a difference. At least I hope you can tell that there's a difference. <laughs> I did get quite a bit of that branch off there. Clean that out. Pulled some of this just to kind of open that a little bit so I could get around back in there. And then I realized this guy, this one here was all the way over this ways. And I took him out, or a piece of him anyway. And I'm looking back to where he's at and I gotta get that out of there so I can take him out from underneath, which means I gotta take him out. So I can get back in here and I've decided I wanted to keep these four Let me get over here without breaking my leg I wanted to keep some of these but this is all four of these are gonna have to come out of here there's no way I got to get rid of all of them and how do I know that well oh more brush <laughs> by the way <laughs> this is all opened up here let me uh, give you the overview from big mother tree here so I told you I was gonna open it all up and there it is getting opened up that did take some work to do underneath this tarp I've got some wood just to keep it dry so that I can start a fire and here's some of the the brush piles from taking out those trees you can see it's all still green and I made a mistake two points to anybody that can figure out what my mistake was it has to do with these brush piles we'll get there solo stove I let this burn down and look it just takes like everything to ash so I'm gonna flip this over dump it out put it under the tarp <clears throat> so it's here next time I need it and it's nice and dry and all that jazz so yeah I, I got back in here to this the leaning birch I told you about that earlier there's that leaning birch and all this is cleaned out now and you can see a whole bunch of stumps in here I need to be able to get the truck up to the very front driveway there before I get in there and I'll be taking out all these little tiny trees in here before I worry about the big ones but yeah just looking at root systems on these bigger trees they're not healthy so they got to come down and that means that that'll be the ingress coming right through my little workbench stump log there take out all that stuff to open this up but what I found was, when I started digging around in here, I don't know if you can remember what it used to look like, but yeah, there's great big holes out here. This is, I don't know, this is two feet deep or more. And you can see, I don't know if you can tell the root system on that guy, not healthy. So he's gonna have to come down. This one as well. not healthy does not look healthy to me this looks like something that is just waiting to fall over you see how he's leaning so gonna gonna take a bunch of this out of here i got to get all the obviously all the fallen timber out and there there is work in there i twisted an ankle twice i mean it's walking around in here to get to this stuff is a challenge and of course you know you're using power tools so you got to be very careful it's like 
where was that uh, tiddlywinks? I mean, they're all over at the top of each other, and some of this is burnable, but some of it just is not. It's just rotted. And like this guy here, I'm not going to take him from here. I'm going to take him from the far end and work my way back in, up to it. But then I get over to here, and I start getting that wood out. And that's the end of that big tall tree that I was talking about. So looking at everything from the other side, if I can get here, looking at everything from the other side, all of this stuff is coming out. You can see how it's leaning. Now this one, this aspen here, looks pretty healthy. So I'll have to see if I can keep him around. But the rest of these, they're all leaning funky and yeah, don't like the look of, looks of that. Because ultimately, when I do get the truck back in here, one of these trees comes down on my truck and I'm pretty well buggered. So, <clears throat> yeah, I've opened it up in here pretty good. The idea is to homestead back in here. So, I mean, unfortunately, i got to open up space so that I can do that. So that's, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. The plan right now is to, like I said, get an apartment that's a little bit closer. Get rid of all that wannabe, wannabe society stuff. You know, the 12 service China and all that jazz. Get rid of all that garbage. And, uh, you know, go to the minimalist lifestyle. If it ain't helping you eat, ain't helping you drink ain't helping you keep warm you don't need it so some progress has been made I come back over here to where mama tree is so you can kind of see it from this perspective Some progress has been made. Not as much as I would like, but like I said, this is a marathon, not a sprint. In it for the long haul. And it will take some time to get set up in here, but once I am set up in here, I mean, <laughs> when your nearest neighbor's five plus miles away, that's a pretty comforting thought with the world the way that it is. So no takers on what I did wrong with these brush piles. I'll tell you at some point when I get around to getting them out of the way. I've thought about just doing a control burn on these things because they just won't fit into that solo stove. So, I mean, breaking down tiny little branches like this is a serious pain in the bum. So. Yeah, uh, I'm here to dump this, flip it, put it up underneath the tarp. And then I'm going to go drive back to uh, the place I call home. Take a couple of good long showers and put the clothes in the laundry. <laughs> I'm stinking pretty bad. I walk into eateries around here and people look at me funny because I smell like smoke and sweat. So... <laughs> Hey, whatever, right? I'm not here to impress anybody. I'm here to get myself completely off the grid. Which uh, brings up the next point. Isn't really good service out here. So getting internet back in here is going to be a little bit of a challenge. At some point, you know, I'm going to be opening up these, these trees just so I can get some Starlink in here. We'll see what it looks like after I take down a couple of the bigger ones. That doesn't happen until I get this brush out of the way. And that is going to be, this is, this is not something that's going to happen in a week. This is something that's going to take me quite some time to do. Out here on my own, only two hands. So, yeah, thanks for watching.